uh, his strength of schedule, uh, rest of season, the fourth easiest among fantasy quarterbacks. You zero on the fantasy playoffs, the weeks 15 through 18. Uh, he's got the fifth easiest remaining strength of schedule. One for one trades for Herbert. Uh, would you do this? Justin Herbert for Bucky Irving. What side do you want? I would uh, absolutely do that for Justin Herbert right now. I like the way that the offense is trending, so I would do that. Okay. Uh, Justin Herbert for Cortland Sutton. Yeah, I would do that still, even though Sutton is a clear number one right now for a Denver offense that gets a little bit better every single week. Yeah, I would still do that. Uh, Justin Herbert for Jalen Waddell. That's a tough one just because Tua is back. It's going to be another week with Tua back. But you know what I worry about, too, is if they keep losing games, man. Like, do they just shut everybody down? Uh, I, Depending on the need, yeah, I would probably do that, though. Yeah, I will. Look, if you want a quarterback upgrade and you want to prey on a meek level of opponents, I mean, Justin Herbert's got a, a wonderful schedule down the stretch. Again, yeah. fourth easiest remaining for any quarterback, fifth easiest during the fantasy playoffs this year. Uh, let's go to running back. Uh, a guy. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, I guess I'll have to queue up NSYNC and when we go in between these guys, uh, like we do with the Campbell sound. Uh, so that's uh, set in stone. Let's go with James Conner. Uh, who was uh, the second place winner on our pole dancing poll question of the day. Uh, Strength the schedule for the rest of the season at number eight easiest among fantasy running backs. The second easiest fantasy playoff schedule. So if you're trending at that direction, maybe a guy you want to fire off and offer on right now. One for one trades. James Conner for Zay Flowers. What side do you want? Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do James Conner. You brought up the easy schedule. Arizona's actually, like, in contention right now. They might end up winning the division, as crazy as it sounds. I would do that one. 10,000% uh, I do James Conner. James Conner for Devontae Adams. Who you on? James Conner. Uh, Devontae Adams, great route runner still. But, man, that Jets offense. Don't feel very good about it. But do James Conner. Yeah, I mean, Connor is an advanced metrics machine, too, as yeah. I already laid out. Leading the league in total missed tackles for us with over 40 in that category. James Connor or Marvin Harrison Jr., his teammate? I would do James Connor. I just know the touches are going to be there every single week. You know, you never really know what you're going to get with Marvin Harrison. Although, man, him and Kyler have been on the same page the last couple weeks. Connor for me. Yeah, no doubt it's going to be uh, one James Connor. James Connor for C.D. Lamb. Last one. So, man, this is a tough one to say no to. Like, if it's a dynasty league or I'm preparing for next year and I really need, uh, I mean, CeeDee Lamb, but probably James Conner. I mean, it's Cooper Rush and Trey Lance, so James Conner for me. Yeah, it's James Conner all the way. Look, James yeah. Conner is going to be a key participant on your championship roster. Go grab him now. Uh, that duality of Kyler Murray only helps him, and that schedule is just so delectable down the stretch in the second easiest again during the fantasy playoffs. All right, let's move on and give me the bye-bye-bye. All right, very nice there, Brandon, working the board. Uh, let's go to Jonathan Taylor, all right? Uh, strength of schedule, seventh easiest remaining. Uh, the strength of schedule during the fantasy playoffs, the seventh easiest as well. Uh, there was hardly any trades involving Jonathan Taylor last 24 hours at Yahoo. In fact, there was only one one for one, unbelievably. It was Jonathan Taylor for Devontae Adams. What side are you on there? Yeah, I would do that in a heartbeat. I would want Jonathan Taylor. You brought up the top 10 easy schedule the rest of the way. Also, Indianapolis doesn't have a quarterback, man, so I expect a lot of yeah. Jonathan Taylor moving forward. So I would do that. Or I would, I would yeah. want JT. I would want JT all day as well. I, I'm probably going to take him in the anytime touchdown market uh, this upcoming week as he's yeah. taking on the Buffalo Bills. We know the area weakness defensively for that squad. They just do not body up in the trenches. And that Indianapolis team, Joe Flacco uh, had his worst performance. Um, and I think it was undeniably his worst performance of the season last week. Uh, so, you know, they're going to try to get him right, try to get the offense flowing and going. And the best way to do it is feed the beast and JTT uh, on the ground. So, Jonathan Taylor, uh, I think you're, you know, it's not really a buy low window, uh, but maybe at a slight discount window is about to slam shut. So, fire off a trade for him. He's going to be a difference maker down the stretch in fantasy football leagues. Hit me with the NSYNC. Got to do the dance. Yeah, and, well, I don't have those oh, moves Mario, anymore. Mario remembers it. He's got it oh, going. Yeah. He's oh, yeah. 
He's a young man, but an old soul when it comes to the JT and Lands Bass and the boys. I, I, I love NSYNC, dude. Me too. I, I watched the music video today for Bye Bye as I was uh, trying to find the song for this. I, 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 I forgot how much it kind of goes. I was an NSYNC guy, too. You know, like, it was it was a lot of the girls in our grade school. It was like Team Backstreet, and then it was Team NSYNC, and I was always yep. Team NSYNC. Yeah, for sure. What a jam. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, one last time, why not? Yeah. I, I'm imagining uh, War Daddy whipping the hair around. He's got a lot of it. <laughs> it's beautiful, too. Uh, yeah. It's great hair. I, I didn't do that, but, you know, I was thinking about, let's highlight the tips of it. And then I was like, you know what, we're not going to do that. No, you don't want to go. Oh, yeah, bring it back. Late 90s style? Oh, come <laughs> I on. could. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Frosted Indiana. Tibbs Uh-oh. whipping that hair around. Oh, my God. That's Indiana hot. So <laughs> hot. Unbelievable. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's let's go to DJ Moore. Uh, he was last in the pole dancing poll question, garnering only 8.3% of the vote. Uh, maybe I'll try to convince people that he sh- is a- indeed and should be a buy low candidate. He is the easiest remaining strength of schedule of any fantasy wide receiver that is out there. Uh, the fantasy playoff strength of schedule, the easiest as well. So DJ Moore could be a key cog and you getting bragging rights in your fantasy league this season. Uh, one for one deals. Tell me if you'll do this. DJ Moore for Mike Evans. We don't know when he's going to be back. What side do you want? Mm, man, like you said, we know he's going to be back. When's he going to be back? When's he going to be 100%? That said, I'm still, I want Mike Evans. Uh, I want DJ Moore because uh, soft tissue issues remain undefeated, and he's got a hamstring that could flare up at, at a moment's notice. DJ Moore or Devonta Smith? Uh, I want DJ Moore. I know the targets are going to be there for DJ Moore. Bears offense can't get any worse. Although, man, I mean, Caleb's regressed the last couple of weeks. I like them this week quite a bit. So DJ Moore for me. Yeah, DJ Moore for me as well, believe it or not, over Devonta Smith. How about yeah. DJ Moore or Raheem Mostert? Yeah, DJ Moore. Uh, I'm more of an A-chan guy moving forward for Miami. I would want DJ Moore. Uh, I do like Mostert this week, candidly. Uh, I wrote about him on the GamingJuice.com and my fantasy football flames for week number 10. But, yeah, I'm with DJ Moore rest yeah. of the season. Last one, DJ Moore or Khalil Shakir? Ooh, I want DJ Moore. Right, I mean that Baltimore or Baltimore, the Buffalo offense. I mean, one week it could be Khalil Shakir, but yeah, I would want DJ Moore. All right, it's a sweep. It's DJ Moore for me. Let's get another one in here. Give me the instinct. All right, uh, guy, you got a target right now in fantasy leagues. Malik Neighbors, uh, number three easiest strength of schedule yeah. for fantasy wide receiver. The third easiest as well for the fantasy playoffs. So coming in, if you're trying that direction and you're looking for that guy that's going to get you oh, get you over the hump, get you over the top, I think it's going to be the rookie out of LSU. One for one deals. Uh, who would you rather have, Malik Neighbors or Brees Hall, who has the easiest remaining strength of schedule for a fantasy running back? Mm, yeah, and that's what makes this one tough, too, um, because I do have Brees Hall, and I, real feel, I really feel good about him for the playoff stretch. But, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I want Brees Hall. Yeah, I want Brees Hall, too. Guaranteed yeah. touches. I'm going to go with that volume yeah. all day.